Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back for another Fake Grand Order video. What are we talking about today? Well, it's pretty obvious what we have to talk about today, because today our banner is going up. That's right, Ruler Scotty and Lusitan are also going to be coming to the game. And that will finally bring an end to the cursed 3 summer, 3 SSR summer, until technically next year where the anniversary unit is also a stealth swimsuit unit, so that's also... Weirdly enough three and there's actually four banners there if I remember correctly because I think there's Oberon and then there's The Tez banner anyway Dealing with it today. <laughs> this banner should go up at day roll when it hits And it'll feature Scotty and Blue Zatan. This will be very easy to talk about because these are two Very easy units to talk about that was a dumb thing. I just said anyway in turn, if you're curious about the craft essence that are going to be on it, it's the same as the other ones. It's like the exact same as Ibuki. It should go up until August 7th. This is 31st because um, this is the JP version of it. I don't know why they don't put the NA up when we know it's happening today, but you know what? I don't run this place and I'm not helping it, so I should just shut up. We're going to start with Wuzatan. <laughs> Wuzatan, she is a caster. She has uh, one quick, two arts, two busters, five hits on quick, three hits on arts, two hits on buster, five hits on extra. Her first skill is the Charisma of the Inner Palace Summer EX, increases the party's attack for three turns, increases the party's buster performance for three turns, increases the party's MP generation rate for three turns, 50%, 50%, 20% on a cooldown of six. Her second skill is the Woo Warning Lady A, reduces all enemies MP gauge by 1, increases the party's damage against the undead enemies for 3 turns, then charges party's MP gauge 30% and 20% on a cooldown of 7. And the third skill is stun all undead enemies for 1 turn, recovers party's HP, removes party's debuffs, and that's a heal of 3000 on a cooldown of 7 as well. Uh, and the stun I just assume if you're fighting undead it just automatically happens. And her passive skills are Territory Creation A, Item Construction A, and Ambition of the Imperial Ascension EX, which is a Grants Self Mental Debuff Immunity type skill. Her third depend skill is an Anti-Foreigner Attack Damage Aptitude because I guess screw the lady who married my... Son? Yes. It's Yang. It's a Yang reference. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is anyway because she's a foreigner. Uh, her noble phantasm is the Lale Kuli Jiangshi Men, Come O Atrocious Jiangshi Corps. It's a rank B noble phantasm. It is an entire army. Buster hits five times. Inflicts undead trait for three turns to all enemies. Activates first. Deals damage to them and then deals 150% extra damage against enemies of, uh, with the man attribute and then reduce their defense by 20% for three turns. At MP level 1, it's 300% damage, and if you get her all the way to MP level 5, it's 500%, and then she also increases her own damage for one turn. This activates first. Its MP damage is at 10%, and if you get her all the way to the final charge level, it is 30%. And that is Wu, a little Wu, Night Bright, whatever you want to call her. The the assassin of Agartha. Of the, no, they call her something? Never mind. Um, I forgot the assassin of the Endless Night, something like that. Anyway, Wu Zidane is a very interesting unit because she is anti-undead. <laughs> she is a support unit. She's also one that is um, just really hates the undead. This can actually work with some units. I know there's some units that were anti-undead, such as Ibuki. These are all, yeah, literally un anti-undead. Ibuki, Skahawk, Martha, Her, Gray, Martha. Su Fu, and the thing that's different is that she can also give them undead with this specific trait, so I think that's actually kind of a fun thing to do. I don't think you should rely on her as your main AoE attacker because she actually isn't built for that very good because she has a 20% MP charge, so you wouldn't be able to do the Vich, two Vich plus an Oberon, but even if you could, and let's say this was 30%, it's a cooldown of seven, so you're gonna miss it by just a single thing. So really she's here more as a support unit, probably in specific challenge quests where there's just a buttload of undead dudes. And I think as that, she probably works a little bit better because you can see here she increases their attack a little bit, their buster performance for a little bit, and if your team is a little bit low on MP generation, 20%, that obviously wouldn't matter for looping, but in more um, events where you're actually staying and fighting, that could come in handy. Uh, and yeah, the sun of Jens the Undead is pretty good, especially because that means after she does her MP, um, she can immediately stun them the next turn if they're alive and then also help the party out by removing their debuffs and healing them a little bit and buying you with a turn or so. A very interesting support, probably not a must have, but it does seem like a fun unit to use for specific nonsense and if there was ever a challenge quest with just a bunch of undead dudes, she'd be perfect for that. 
But that's Wu Satane. I think she's a pretty cool unit, actually. And I think her art is also really good. All three of them is really nice. This one is the silliest of them, but even this one I really like. So, I'll be going for her. Well, I'll be going for her in the sense that <laughs> my cat Lucifer is going to be scrying. He's like, what do you mean? No. I'll be going for her because she's going to be on Scotty's banner, so I'll be happy if I have her. But probably not a must-chase unit unless you specifically love Wu Satan, which, to be fair, I do think her art's really nice. So I don't just, um, I don't judge, that's the word, anyone trying. But anyway, now into the actual main unit. Skahawk Scotty, which I will call Scotty from this point on. Or Summer Scotty, I guess. Summer Scotty, um, she has two quicks, one arts, two buster. Her first skill is the Primeval Ruin Midsummer A. Increases one ally's quick performance for three turns, and then increase the crit damage of buster cards for three turns. 50% up and then 100% to buster crits on a cooldown of six. Her second skill is the Midsummer Ice Cream C. Increases party's attack for three turns, increases party's quick performance for three turns, increases party's buster performance for three turns. Gain crit stars every turn for three turns. 20%, 15%, 15%, and 20% uh, to attack. Quick and Buster 15% and Star Regen 15 on a cooldown of 7. And her third skill is the Dreaming in the Light Summer Night A+. Charges 1 alias MP gauge, increases their critical star absorption on Buster cards for a single turn, then gain crit stars. 50% to MP, 500% to Buster absorption, 15 stars on a cooldown of 7. Her passive skills are Magic Resistance EX, Territory Creation A, and Goddess Essence A. Her third skill is an anti-caster attack damage aptitude because trust no one, not even yourself. And her noble phantasm is the gate of a year, gate towards bountiful ocean, rank A, anti-summer, quick, hits six times, steals damage to all enemies and then reduces their MP gauge by one. At MP level one, the damage is 600%, and you get her all the way to MP level five, it's 1000. And then if you have the overcharge, Increase on MP damage when on the water side battlefield for one turn, activates first, deals extra damage against enemies of the lawful alignment, and the water side damage is 10% at charge level 1, and then 30% at the final charge level, and the lawful damage is 150%, and then you get it at 200% at the final level, and then she also has a costume dress, because she never wears this outfit in any of her sprites. It's her final ascension, similar to Vargas, where Vargas also hit a bikini in her ascension that you could not actually use, and they remedied it by making it an actual costume dress eventually. And he, here she is with the fish and everything. That is Summer Scotty. I ended up having to do this again because I wasn't fully satisfied <laughs> instead of redoing all the entire video. Is what I'm gonna say is um, to give the final thoughts on Scotty. She's a fantastic unit. She's the new quick support. She's going to be the go-to for Quick. The thing that's probably going to be a little bit detrimental is for the people who already aren't a fan of Quick and feel like it doesn't have enough. That's not going to change anything with the Scotty. Only thing that it does, it means, is that it's just a more powerful version of Scotty. And it's also a version of Scotty that can be run with double Scotty. Which I also do like that this Scotty has her first skill. You can see it's um, it gives Buster damage. And then the, <laughs> the Quick one is on here. So it actually does kind of feel like they can be used together in some kind of way. Which I think is neat. Um, I like that this is a support unit that can actually be used for AoE. I know Coin Sky has it too, and she's um, she's all right with it. But at least with this one in the base level, it's a hundred. It's over a hundred and fifty percent to quick. A little bit, obviously, a little bit more when you include the fifty percent from this, fifty percent from another, fifty percent from a original caster Scotty, and then you include the two fifteen quicks, which would be thirty. So that would be 180%, and then you include creasing party, a quack, <laughs> creasing party's attack, which is really nice. So you are going to be doing more damage. The problem is, is that for some units, they just don't have the MP gain, and that will continue to be an issue until Summer Chloe comes around. But quick now, I think quick will end up being just basically the same. I don't actually know if any quick unit is improved by Scotty in terms of they weren't able to loot beforehand, but now they can. Feel free to tell me if there's any specific quick units, because I'd like to know. But I feel like the answer, just based on how her kit looks like and stuff like that, and this is without me actually having her and trying her, because remember, I don't play the JP version of the game, so I can only really go off of what I've heard. And what I've heard from a lot of JP players is that they like Scotty, they do think she's good, but the problem is, is that that um, it doesn't change quick fundamentally from what it was. It's still a very expensive color to get into when you compare it to Arts and you compare it to Buster as well, uh, which I feel is a very fair criticism of a character that is extremely good. 
And maybe Quick needs something a little bit more than Scotty. I don't know if, um, what they could do. It would be nice if they buffed original Scotty so that maybe her 50% MP charge, because if you can see here, she has an ability on her 50% MP charge, but original base Scotty doesn't. So instead of getting crit critical stars, maybe she would give something like NP gain, which would probably help a little bit more. But then maybe buffing that Scotty would run into an issue of like, well, then what do you do? Do you go Scotty, Scotty, do you go Summer Scotty, Summer Scotty, and then your own Scotty? Or do you go own Summer Scotty, another Scotty, and then the other Scotty? I don't know how to go. It's a very hard question. Who knows? Um, I was trying to think if I could possibly fit in another Scotty, but no, there isn't. But, you know, this is all stuff where it's like... And then I mentioned, of course, Summer Chloe is also another way that that helps a lot of quick units, but that's also in the future and stuff like that. But either way, she's a fantastic unit. Absolutely good. I don't want it to make it seem like I'm hopefully... I hopefully really feel like I'm not being overly negative in a way that will be feel too defensive, but I feel like if I don't bring this up, someone will get on my ass and say, like, how come you don't mention any of the negatives of her? Well, the reason is is because when I, when I become... When I, like, am too negative on a unit, that also awakens something else. So I feel like... It, they're right and that you do have to kind of bring up the failings of something but I feel like those are a failings of an entire element and not of the actual character and maybe it's up to the character to say like hey maybe you should be the one to move it forward because that's what Vich did that's what um that's what original Ca that's what original Scotty did and that's what Castoria did for art for arts I just don't know if the devs themselves ever saw this unit like that or if they think quick is in a good place I don't know I just don't know but if I, I, I also don't 100% know what you would do with Quick, other than to say that in my experience using Quick, which I've used a lot of Quick units over the years, my Scotty is like Bond 13. I think she has like one of the highest Bonds. I'm working on her for 14. But one of the biggest issues I usually have with Quick is that sometimes they either don't have enough MP charge at the end and they have like 30%, which means I have to use their own personal one um, or do something else. To get them there and i feel like that's kind of like a it's very annoying <laughs> it can be a little bit frustrating especially because there's like a lot of quick cool quick units like for example um which is a good one that um right here this, this one's good because she recently got her her buff i am in ruler because i'm a dumb dumb i'll go to archer just to give an example uh these two, specifically these two, I was have running into that issue. Say, I was trying to use her for a specific farming in it, and I ran into the problem of like she would always come off just by 10%. I would be off. Where I was like, well, how much more do I have to invest in this character to get them there? <laughs> it felt very annoying. I'm like, if only you just had more. Like, I don't know what more you could use because she already has the ability to give herself MP gauge. She already has a charge to her MP gauge. She also has a way to further charge our own MP gauge. Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the, the four hit is probably the, big, the biggest problem here of what's actually stopping her. Because if you don't know, the more hits you have on your MP for quick, the better. Because that gives you more chance to charge up your MP and stuff like that. But you can see here, that was a case of me running into a, like, damn, it's an issue that I don't run into with Arts, and I don't run into with Buster, because Buster doesn't care about that. Ilya was similar in the same way. I tried to use her with the in Summer, and I figured, hey, with all the attack bonus and everything else going on, it's going to be enough. She has literally MP generation on her herself. That should hopefully be enough. And the answer was it, was just, it just wasn't enough. I was like, damn. But then if I think about it, if I had Summer Chloe, I would be able to do it with that. But again, that's a unit in a year. <laughs> this is quickly turning into, hey, get her, and then in a year, look for Summer Chloe in the future. But I really do feel like that's what I'm going to be doing. Like, I'm, my plan is to hopefully get Summer Scotty, and then um, in a year from now, get Summer Chloe. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to the end of the video. This is the wrap-up. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. As always, you can leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Feel free to tell me if you plan to go for her or if you're saving for the next thing. I assume at this point... This is the end. I know plenty of Scotty dudes who were saying, like, I'm just waiting for Scotty. I'm just waiting for Scotty. She's here now. I'll be summoning as well. I don't know if I'm going to go straight pity for her. Um, but I might. Just to give an update of what I had, because I did a video most recently where I had 300 tickets and plus a multi on Summer Buki. And since then, I decided to use the rest of my tickets to have a clean slate. And I ended up getting a fourth copy of Summer Buki. So I was like, oh, shit. Well, now I feel like I have to go for MP5. So I ended up going a little bit more on MP5. I had 12, uh, 1,200 sync quartz. I now have around 900 or so. 
which is enough for pity on Scotty. All right, my family came home. <laughs> Had to make a cut there because they came home. Anyway, like I said, I don't know if I'll actually end up pitying her, but I do have a very soft spot in my heart for Scotty because uh, Scotty's original summon video was one of my favorites of the of my channel. It's one of the first ones I did with my brother. Um, Okita Altar is probably the one that actually got me to do more summons with him. That was our first one together. But then the one that followed right after it, I want to say, was Scotty. And Scotty one is super fun. <laughs> the ending of it is still funny, and I still I still quote it today, saying, go full screen. It's not full screen. But anyway, uh, I look forward to summoning for her. We'll see if it ends up going. And then I don't know if I'm going to go for MP5 Ibuki. I think I learned my lesson after losing 300. That I didn't want to. <laughs> and probably more now that I think about it. But anyway, um, we'll see after that. I have to do an assessment and start looking towards the future, which is the start of January where Cuckoo is coming. And, Cuc and Cuckoo is going to have to be a similar journey to Ibuki with a much shorter time frame. So I really hope I don't end up having to pity. And I hope she just comes home very, very quickly and I can just chill and then wait for it. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Again, apologies if I'm a little bit, um, if you hear a Hispanic woman yelling Gaeta toward cat, she's in the background. <laughs> I'm a little tired because it's 2.47 a.m. in California and I just got off of work. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't remember if I already said that. I'll see you guys in the next one. If I did, I'll cut that part out. Bye. <laughs>